Hi guys, Matt from 123MyIT here. If you have just upgraded your iPhone's iOS version to 15, or you have one of the iPhone 13 models, this video will show you the iPhone settings that you should turn off straight away. Turning off these settings will speed up your iPhone and save you cellular data and battery life. It will also increase the privacy on your iPhone, which you should consider doing anyway if you're not doing this already. I am using an iPhone 13 Pro which comes with iOS 15, but depending on your iOS version, it might look a little bit different but the settings will be the same. The first setting you should turn off is allow apps to request to track you. You can find this under settings, privacy and tracking. This setting allows apps to track you when you use apps or when you visit websites on your iPhone. You can see here that I'm being tracked by Facebook, Insta and Twitter. They track you because they can sell better targeted ads based on where you have been and what you have looked at. So when you have this turned on, you are basically helping them make more money with no personal gain to yourself. Up to you if you leave this on or not, but at least you know it's there. Toggle the button at the top to turn it off and then tap ask apps to stop tracking. Really easy. The next one I want to talk about is location services. Go back out of privacy and go into location services. In here you will see a list of apps that are using the GPS to track your location. If the app has the word always next to it, it means that the app is tracking you via GPS all the time and just not when you are using the app. Apart from being tracked, this will also drain your battery life. As you can see, most of my apps say while using, which is fine, it's just the always that you need to be aware of. This stuff can get confusing, so let me show you an example of when you would be tracked with your GPS. If you look here, you can see my compass says it will track me while using the app. So if you go back out and go into your compass app, as soon as you open your compass, you will see a little blue arrow at the top of your iPhone. This means the GPS service is being used. Obviously the compass would use the GPS to find your location so it can give you coordinate information. So this is a good example on how location services work. So at the top you can turn this off globally for all apps or if you want to you can go into each app and you can set it to never or while using the app. Go back into location services and scroll down to system services. If you have a purple arrow, this might be a bad sign. It means that an app or service has been using your location. So turn all of these off except for emergency calls and SOS, find my iPhone and networking and wireless. Cool, you have turned them all off now. Head down to significant locations. These are places that you have visited and Apple saves these locations. It's pretty weird. I don't have any locations because I don't take this iPhone anywhere, but if you were to toggle this off and clear your history, you will save data and battery life. Back under system services, scroll down to product improvement and turn all of these off. Unless you're paying Apple to help them improve their products, just turn all of these off. Turn off analytics and improvements. To find it, go into settings, privacy, and go into analytics and improvements. So if you have all these turned on, data is constantly being sent from your iPhone to Apple and other app developers. So again, just turn these off to save battery life and data. You can turn them off one by one or use the global switch at the top, too easy. The next one here to turn off is personalized ads and you can find it under settings, privacy and Apple advertising. To switch it off just toggle the button to off. What it does is it stops Apple's advertising platform from tracking you and then it can't use your information to sell ads. So it's a, a no brainer really. The next setting we should talk about is push mail and you can find it under settings, mail and accounts. This is handy if you use your phone to get email. So what you want to do is toggle the push button to off and then you can go into each account and set it to manual or fetch. Manual just means that when you open the mail account it will download the mail when you look at it. 
rather than just checking the mail service all the time which will drain your battery life. If you want to put a tick beside every 30 minutes or every 15 minutes, this means it will check for mail every 30 minutes or 15, whichever you prefer. Obviously, if you set it to every 30 minutes, it will save you more battery life and data. This next one is for 5G iPhones only, so iPhone 12 or 13 models. To find it, go into Settings, tap on your name, iCloud and iCloud Backup. Under here you have a setting which says Backup over Mobile Data. In the US it will say Backup over Cellular. This is a pretty bad setting. What it means is it will back up your data over the cellular network rather than Wi-Fi. And if you are on a limited data plan, this means you might get charged if you go over your cap. The next one to turn off is called iCloud Drive, and you can find it under Settings, Cellular and iCloud Drive. What this means is if you use iCloud Drive, it will sync over your cellular data plan rather than your Wi-Fi. So toggle this off to save battery life and cellular data. Turn off Photos Cellular Data. You can find this under Settings Photos and Cellular Data. This setting backs up your photos and video files over your cellular data plan rather than waiting till you connect to a Wi-Fi network. So it can put you over your cellular data cap. Turn it off to save battery and cellular data. Okay, so let's show you how to turn off Safari Preload. Go into Settings, Safari, and Preload Top Hit. What this does is when you do a search in Safari and you get the search results, Safari will start to load the first web page on the list automatically without you selecting it. It will make the web page seem to load faster if you do select it. However, if you don't select it, it will use up the data and battery life. So just go ahead and turn it off. Turn off Background App Refresh. You can find it under Settings, General and Background App Refresh. This setting allows apps to use your cellular data to download new content in the background even when you might not be using the app. Turning this off will save you battery life and data. You can turn it off by tapping the background app refresh button at the top and then setting it to either off or Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi if you want to use your apps when you're at home. Otherwise you can just tap back and then you can select the apps manually, whichever apps that you want to allow to do this. Guys, don't forget to check out my other videos such as transfer data iPhone to iPhone 13. And do me a favor, if you know anyone who might like this video, please share it with them. Hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon.